Well, there are new developments in the story of a lost flag that we brought you earlier this week. You might remember that two women in Hampton discovered a box with an American flag and an Atlanta fire badge inside an abandoned storage unit. Their goal? To find the family that it belongs to. Fox News' Natalie Fultz shares the reunion with us. Stories don't always have happy endings, but this one does. Thanks to Fox 5 viewers who connected two women who found a box with an American flag and an Atlanta fire badge inside with the family it all belongs to. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Oh, memories from her family's past. Anil Durenberger. This is the flag that was on her uh, casket, which is very meaningful to me. Kimberly Nixon reflects on her great aunt, Major Annelle Durenberger, a former nurse in the U.S. military. She would always tell us, you girls better get married and have babies, you know, don't be like us. Friday, Nixon reunited with a few of her great aunt's belongings and also an Atlanta fire badge. This is my dad. Captain Thomas Blair Sr., an Atlanta firefighter for more than 30 years. I mean, that's who he was, you know. I think it's sweet that it's in there with the flag because it tells me he was thinking about it. Nixon had no idea her family's treasures were no longer in her family's hands. So my sister had the storage unit uh, and then they moved to Florida and then they just let it go. Luckily for Nixon, these two ladies, Nitsina Ricks and Teresa Sanders, found the box and had one mission to find who it belonged to. We gave them back something that is precious. I'm just happy that we got it back to the rightful owner. Thanks to Fox 5 viewers who connected the women, this story has a fairy tale ending. It's just like the greatest gift in the world is to have something like this given back. Miss Nixon tells me she's looking forward to sharing stories about her dad and her great aunt with her grandkids, but for now she says she won't be taking her hands off the box anytime soon. In Hampton, Natalie Fultz, Fox 5 News.